Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. We got them, the monster cards. Uh, starting, um, the, we found out who the special guest was, um, and one of the bronze cards looks really strong. Nothing new there for monsters. Um, but first, let's go over our uh, new friend here, Gurnacora. She's actually a card now. She's a two-piece card, um, and I haven't really looked at this much. Uh, but the first one, so she's a 7 for 10 Relic, so she has Relic Pocket Synergy. At the end of your turn, transform self into Bloody Mistress. Sabbath, at the end of your turn, boost self by one for each allied Gurnacor's fruit instead. Um... So if she if if you if you have the Sabbath it spawns the fruit if you don't she just stays as is and then if she's the bloody mistress I like how they got the little voodoo dolls on the wall um, still a seven for ten Sabbath at the end of your turn spawn Gurnacor's fruit. On both sides of this unit and transform self into Gurnacora. So she keeps doing the same thing. Ah, I see. So it 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 boosts self by one. So if you have two fruits on the side when she's Gurnacora, she jumps up to, and when she flips, she spawns two fruits. I see. That's a really neat engine. Um, the Sabbath part might get a little weird because you gotta, you you might not get both fruits. I guess if it spawns them directly on each side, like how some units spawn, and if you got two next to it, they skip over the units and go to the right and the left. So. If it does it to where it spawns on each side, the card should be pretty good. The only thing is, is if it's, it doesn't say base strength, it says boost. So if you, f it flips back, I guess it just keeps it from getting killed when it's not your turn. I think that makes sense. Or when it's your turn, you get the most points. That seems, that seems correct. But being able to, uh, if it stays on the board, it's a 7, 8, 9. It's a 9 for 10 with two fruits at one turn. That seems pretty good. Um, it procs uh, Kashi instantly. That seems like it's a, a win. In a short round, this and Kashi, holy cow, good luck. Really cool card, though. It reminds me of Dr. Boom. <laughs> uh, and then the uh, bronze card, uh, it's a uh, four provision, bleeding effigy, organic. Um, I was curious, I didn't even look up the uh, organics. Uh, they're not very good. Parasite, natural selection, Araka's nest, spontaneous evolution. So these are all like... Crimson Curse, they're all uh, AQ synergy. I don't know if this will have AQ synergy. It might. I mean, but you have to get you have to get Sabbath. That might be kind of hard. Um, spawning a bunch of little stuff, but this one's banish a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard, then boost an allied unit by its power. If you control Bloody Mistress or Gurnacora, you may target gold units. So the I seen the big counter was the the uh, Skellige card Malus or whatever. Uh, if that thing gets bumped up, you can just banish that. So it's a four provision Osril. That's going to hurt. <laughs> That's going to hurt real bad. Um, especially if you... I, if you are playing this with AQ, you could just use it on a leader charge and get it before your opponent can grab it. That's really going to hurt. You can use this on... Um, You know other cards too. I don't think you'd want to use it on boat. You want to go for something beefy. But even if you get like 
great swords or something. I mean, this is a 10. 10 for 4. That seems pretty good. Monsters usually get some pretty busted stuff. I really like it. Uh, I like that this is like some girl's hair, I think. That's really messed up. <laughs> That's really messed up. Monsters always have really cool art, though. Um, but let me know what you guys uh, came up with synergy-wise for it. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. I tried to get a video out for this as soon as possible. Um, also, too, uh, probably next week, uh, I've been doing the channel for about four and a half years. I've had people approach me on sponsorships and stuff like that, or like to play games on you know do a video on them and stuff I've, I've mostly turned them down mostly because i wasn't into the game or i just wasn't into the products that they had but i do have finally have a channel sponsor that i actually like i'm uh i'm a huge uh fan of theirs so um i'm very very grateful i'm not going to announce it just yet i'll wait for it uh, but just so you know there will be like a little bit of a paid sponsorship you know, in a couple of videos next month, so, um, I've been doing this a long time, so to actually get something out of it feels pretty good, so, thank you guys so much for everything, it wouldn't be possible without you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow's the Nilfgaard video, I had it mixed up, uh, but, uh, tomorrow's the Nilfgaard video, so, I'll see you guys tomorrow.